What is up everyone, this is Mo Charles and today I'm going to show you how to blur a component of your video that you are editing or maybe editing on your Camtasia Studio platform. So this works on all Camtasia Studios, it doesn't matter which one it is, from the latest ones to the earliest ones. Currently I'm on the 2020 version, I do have the 2021 version, I haven't tested it out yet. I wanted to make a separate review for you guys on how to do that. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into this. So, here, so basically I want to kind of show you, let's just say there's a component or a piece in the video that you want to blur, because let's just say someone's face, uh, it doesn't have to be like a tutorial like I was making and I'm kind of going to show you it could be like a, you know a vlog or something and you don't want to show a child's face or something usually how YouTube actually doesn't want you to do that uh, especially if you don't know the person or maybe it's something like uh, you were showing like a tutorial like myself and there was like information available like your password was literally there and you're like yeah I, I don't want that or my credit card number or your address etc etc so what you want to do is there's something called annotations right here and in here you're probably like well i don't see it it's on the top right and there's something here called blur and highlight so you can blur something you can also favorite it which is what i love about camtasia so the neat things that i like to do i always just favorite them so you can favorite the blur or the pixelate it's up to you which one you want to kind of go with and let's just say this part of this video you want it to blur so you would basically bring it over to the scene that you're trying to blur and you can basically drag it all the way and then you're like okay now this is blurred how do i keep it blurred like let's just say this component as you can see my blur stopped was longer than that so you if you look at the bottom component of it you can see in track two this is where the blur was you can make it longer you can make it the whole video long you can make it shorter than that you can change the time of when you wanted the blur you can kind of do all of that stuff and again same with the pixel it's literally the same thing it'll just be called pixelated you can have them on top of each other like this uh because let's just say the blur ends and the pixelate starts or you can have two components so you can have one blur and one pixel so just to give you perspective so this is blurring and this is pixelating so sometimes if you have let's just say it's an address you want to blur the address but let's say the credit card number is at the bottom you want to blur the credit card at the bottom then um i usually find blurring i mean pixelating does a better job depending on like what it is if it's just like words it's very easy for a blur to like kind of hide it so you can see like you can't really see that but if it's like a picture blur you can still kind of see like you might i don't know i feel like you can definitely tell there's a dragon in the back uh maybe not this thing you're like all right it's probably human because i can think it's a shield but with a pixelate it's a lot of I feel like it's a lot easier to like hide what it is. Again, it's completely your like now you d have no idea what this is. If anything, this looks like a nifty I can sell uh, <laughs> for like millions of dollars. Um, but anyways, like this is a very kind of like a cool component of something you should guys kind of look into like which one you want to do. But anyways, this is how you essentially do this in Camtasia. That's basically it. You do the normal export and then voila, your video will be blurred. You don't have to kind of worry about or pixelated. You won't have to worry about kind of doing that, that like showing sensitive information any longer. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification button. And then more tutorials out. Peace.